What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today's gonna be a different day today. Um, I said today twice, there's three times. Anyways, I, would, I, I received an email from a language school here that concentrates on teaching Spanish to I guess foreigners or whatever. And they invited me to come try out the school. Well, before I put them on video and, and show them to you guys, I wanted to try them out myself uh, before actually making a video and I guess promoting them, whatever you wanna call it. So they invited me out to come out today to do uh, Spanish classes. They give 30 minute Spanish classes uh, and you can take unlimited amount, I believe. I think that's how it works. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do two hours of Spanish classes. Now the funny thing is I speak Spanish, but they have different levels. They have le from level one, which is like the very basic to level, I'm not sure, I think nine or something, I'm not sure. So we're gonna see what level I end up at. That'll be kind of interesting. And also um, see how it goes. So the reason why I'm filming right now because they wanted me to try out first and then film later. But I'm filming now because I like to film f with first reactions. I like getting my personal first reactions on film. And I feel that that's like the best way to, to capture something when you do something. So I'm going to film a little bit of today maybe. I might pull up my camera, show around, talk to the people, that kind of stuff. Now you probably see the name of the, the school behind me. But uh, if I, I'm, I don't, I'm not sure if it's going to be good or not. So stay tuned for that. And also, I'm gonna to talk to the owners and try to work out a deal for you guys, for my viewers. Maybe get a discount uh, off the first month or something like that. Or maybe a, a couple weeks free. I'm not sure, I'll try to negotiate a deal for you guys. So don't go straight to the school and sign up. I'm, wait for me because I might get you a deal. And by the time this video comes out, I wanna hold off on this video. And by the time this video comes out, I would have already talked to them, negotiated, and I'll probably put a link below with what kind of deal I got for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, I'm early. It's 9.50, class starts at 10. And the funny thing is, let me tell you a story. I learned my Spanish by myself. I actually have a video of how I, how, how I taught myself Spanish on my channel, on my balcony. Find that video, check it out. So I learned Spanish by living in Mexico for a year. And when I first moved there, I signed up for a, oh man, I left my bike just sitting there. I'm over here talking to you guys. I'm not even paying attention to my bike. Let me look at my bike here. Anyways, so I <laughs> I, um, I moved to Mexico, lived there for a year. And when I initially got there, I signed up for um, classes in the university, okay? I enrolled into Spanish classes for, for foreigners. I lasted in that school, in that class for like maybe one month, a month and a half. And why? Because it was so freaking boring. It was so boring and I was learning Spanish faster outside with my friends and my roommates and my girlfriend in Mexico at the time than I was in class. And they, the, what I didn't like about that was is because they focused so much on grammar, they focused so much on stupid sentences that I will ne I'll probably never say in real life, like um, the banana is yellow or something stupid like that, you know? Uh, so I personally learned Spanish my own just through conversation, just through reading per my personal books and also communicating and talking to people. Now, I think their concept is different. I think they don't focus on like grammar and that perfect, and what you, what you normally get in a normal school. They do it different. So I'm gonna find out how different it is, if I like it, if I don't like it, if I recommend it, if I do recommend it, if I do or don't recommend it, or whatever you, you call it. Anyway, so stay tuned, and I'll turn the camera on if I see anything interesting. Yeah, so stay tuned. Step is, I can bring my bike inside, so that's good. Second, they took my temperature and they, they sprayed down my feet for the protocol. So we're walking in now. And here we are in the school. Buenas, todo bien? Bien, gracias. Por acá. Ah, uh, look, they got ping pong. <laughs> ah, bueno. I'm gonna hang my bike real quick, so stay tuned. So they got spots to hang up bikes, that's good. They got ping pong table, it's excellent. Got the front desk. Buenas, ¿está bien? Buenas, ¿cómo estás? Enrique. Enrique. Mucho gusto, David. Un placer, David. ¿Puedo hacer un tour muy rápido? Claro sí. sí. Esta es el área principal. Ok, this is the, the main room. En inglés, si quieres. Of course, this is the main room. I know you speak English. Main room, uh-huh. We have coffee, wherever you want, that is included on the price. We uh, have 10x V60. Did y'all hear that? Unlimited coffee included in the price, and I love coffee. Colombian Here. coffee. Hey, hey, <laughs> Chemex, and what else? Uh, tea, in case you want some tea. All right, good, good. For the health conscious people. Open spot like this, 
Okay, it takes some sun. They say that uh, by taking vitamin D, taking sun, you help, help learn better, so that's good. I, I saw where you guys are going with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a tour real quick, but then I wanna take it my lessons. I need to learn Spanish, guys, come on. Other main spot, as there are only a few, there are many in this room. Okay, yeah, right now, because of what we're going through, a lot of teachers are, are teaching online, so they have a, like a lot of teachers right now online, unlimited classes online. That's what I hear. I'm, so I'm talking, I don't really know what I'm talking about, I'm doing this video right now for first impression guys and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my glasses and then I'm gonna do an interview probably another day with uh, Enrique or with uh, another person I think the owner right with me with you as well uh, yes with Enrique <laughs> and then and then post that later so stay tuned for that as well almost uh, would you like a cup of coffee yeah afterwards I, oh yeah sure but after the tour drink caffeine if you if you guys are taking any kind of exam or test the, another highly recommended thing is to drink caffeine before the test. It helps you think better. That's how I passed all my tests. We have some boards in case you need to some visual reinforcements. Very good. Mm -hmm. An actual class. I won't interrupt them. <laughs> More open class. All right. Excellent. So yeah, everybody sits with their their one on one teacher. One on one teacher. Beautiful artwork. I love it. So this is basically an old house that they turned into a school. So I like it, I like it a lot, I like the environment. And usually in normal times, this place is pretty packed. Like yeah. before the pandemic, it was pretty packed, huh? So a great way to meet people as well, I guess, yeah? Yeah, because you can use this space as a co-working space too. As you a can stay space. here as much as you want. Really? Yeah. Okay. So that's, we're gonna talk prices and all that stuff in the future. Again, it's just first impression. I see, so let's check out the coffee. I'm gonna get me a coffee and I'll let you guys know how good it is. That's the main thing, right? <laughs> so I love cappuccino. I'm ordered, that's what I got. Are you a teacher as well? Yeah, yes. I'm Mia. Como se llama? Mia. Mia. Mia, like Mia. <laughs> mine. No. Not the joke around. <laughs> <laughs> Mia means mine. It's, it's mi cap, it's mi, mi, Mia. Mia, mi amor, you know. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. I'm intruding on his, on his uh, territory. <laughs> very cool. So we got this machine here, very nice machine. All right. So real Colombian coffee served here, unlimited amounts. Who's a coffee addict? Comment below, let me know who, who loves to drink coffee. How much coffee y'all drink? I know some people drink a couple of pots. So how does it work? So you, you said it's unlimited, like that's for anybody signing up for any type of class or is it? Yes, it, basically we work on a monthly membership. Okay. So you will stay here for the month. You can uh -huh. take as much coffee as you want. You can take as much classes as you want. Uh -huh. And you can use the space too. Okay. And you have unlimited classes online in case you want to take some extra at your place. And when it says unlimited, does that mean like it's 24 hours? Well, basically here we work eight hours per day. So you okay. will have eight hour top and technically unlimited online. Starting at 5 a.m. till midnight. Okay, so the online is from 5 a.m. to midnight. Yeah, CST. Okay, so unlimited for those times. So don't expect that at two o'clock in the morning someone's be up <laughs> trying to teach you Spanish. Yeah. And you never know, you might get clients from other parts of the world. You guys have clients in other parts of the yeah, world? Yeah, basically we are working on more than 50 countries. Excellent. I have viewers from all over the place. Yeah. Yeah, even in India, so. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right, let's check out this coffee. Anyways, like I said, guys, I'm going to put the links, links in the description. I'm going to try to work out a deal for you guys and uh, see what I can get for y'all. So stay tuned for that as well. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so check this out. They also give bottled waters and they give these re re uh, reusable glass bottles. And I appreciate it because, you know, I don't like using so much plastic, right? Plastic is no good. So they got these glass bottles and you actually buy some glass bottles from them with their logo on it. Very cool. And como se llama Milton? Milton. Milton, he's a teacher as well, but he doesn't speak that much English. So there's an advantage behind that. You're forced to speak Spanish. You can't have that handicap. You know, so let's check out how Milton did on his cappuccino. All right, he's a barista as well. Very good. Let's taste his, uh, his work. Mmm. It's good. It's good. And it's free. So it's even better, right? It's gratis, it's mejor así, si or no? Si. Mm. Excellent, I got my caffeine, I got my water. I'm gonna go with Enrique, he's gonna teach me some Spanish and see what level I'm at. If I'm 
low, high, we'll see. So stay tuned. All right, guys, class time. Got my coffee, got my water. He has his iPad. And like he mentioned before, this place can be a co-working spot. So you're paying for the month. You come as much as you want, any time of the day that they're open. And if you don't want to take classes, you just want to come and work, you work. You got ping pong, you got coffee. I wish I would have known about this place earlier. ¿Cuánto tiempo tiene acá en la casa? Un año y medio. So one year and a half they've been here. So, man. I, oh, anyways, whatever. So <laughs> I'm going to do my class. You guys stay tuned. I'll come back to you in a bit uh, and let y'all know how I liked it. Yeah? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're going through the uh, introduction phase and we're actually, he's trying to get to know me as a student. And I'm liking it so far, guys. I'm really liking it so far. And what I, one thing I like a lot is all classes are one on one. And I'm wasting my time, so let me go quick. Uh, cause I only have, yeah, anyways, um, he, went, he went over the, the prices and how, how the programs work. The first one is uh, it's a one time fee, and you get a one month intense class going from if you're a very beginner to where you can speak, go on the road, like out in the streets, actually have a conversation and feel comfortable speaking Spanish. It's one, one option. Second option is. Uh, for a lower price, I forget the price, uh, you have an option to come here in person class, a limit of two hours per day, but you get unlimited online classes, okay? Uh, and, but you can come here every day, all day long, play ping pong, socialize with people, uh, co working, that's fine, but the classes is limited to two hours. This, the last option is a higher fee, and it's unlimited classes in person, unlimited classes online and you can come here and use co-working. So the first one, that unlimited, uh, I forgot to say, the first one, two hours limited in person, but unlimited online. Anyways, let me get back to class. Stay tuned. Entonces, ya terminó mi clase, ¿sí o no? Sí, ya. Oh, bueno. So, we finished with my class, all right, and what happened, I'm a level seven. So there's from one to nine level. So I'm level seven, uh, so that's actually pretty good. But as Enrique told me, uh, to go from Go from beginner to medium is easy. To go from medium to advanced see? Yes. is as well easy. But to go from advanced to native, like, like, hold on one second, stay tuned, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, I had to change the camera lens. Anyways, um, what was I saying? To go from advanced to native, like native speaking like Enrique, that's where it's hard, that's where it's hard. So right now I'm at, I guess, advanced level advanced, See. Right, and uh, but I'm not native. I'm not. I, I made a lot of. Here, let's show the, the the paper real quick. Okay, so here's all the notes he took of all the mistakes I made. <laughs> okay, so filled out a whole paper of mistakes, and we had how long was our class? An hour? An uh, hour and a half. Hour and a half. So an hour and a half. That's all my mistakes. But anyways, um, I would love to get to native. I told Enrique. Enrique asked me, "What what do you want to do? What do you want to get from this?" I said. I would love to be able to stand up in front of an audience and give a, a lecture in Spanish, but like a, a, an intelligent lecture. Wow, that would be freaking amazing, okay? Um, I'm not there yet, but I can see, even though I'm, I'm, I'm advanced, I can see the, what is it called? The benefit of coming to school, even someone for, like me. Now, would you guys, would you say you get mostly beginners? It depends, honestly. If we have at beginners, intermediate, or even advanced. But the good about us is that we can adjust to each of the students. And the idea is that we can customize the program for each of you. Excellent, and I asked him the question before, and I was asking some questions off camera, and I was like, this is, a, this is some good stuff I wanna get on camera. So the three programs I already explained before, and if it doesn't make sense, I'll try to explain it again in another video, I guess, I'm not sure. But there's that one program where it's an intense, one month intense, you pay one fee, and you come here and you spend actually four hours a day uh, in school taking class. Uh, how many days a week is that? Five days a week. Five, four, four weeks. Five days a week, four weeks for four hours a day. And I asked him, I said, look, Enrique, is it, really, is it really serious that somebody can come here with no Spanish at all? And then after that one month, leave and be able to uh, survive out there in the streets? Like survive with their language, you know? <laughs> um, and he said, yeah. And he gave me two examples. He said, two examples, one a female and one a guy. And both of them came with zero. And the, the, the guy from England, yes, uh, he, what did you say about him? Like he, after week three, he was able to have a full conversation about UFC uh, without any problem. A full conversation about UFC, that's, that's actually, 
making a conversation is hard. Talking like, you know, donde está el baño, uh, where's the bathroom, or cuánto cuesta eso, that's easy. But having an actual intelligent conversation, that's tough. And then the, the girl you're talking about, what happened to her? Well, basically, she want to record a video, like a three-minute video about herself and the way she learned, and she was able to talk all the time in Spanish, very proficiently, to be honest. Right, and he said that some another professor here in the school asked him and said, you sure that girl didn't speak any Spanish before? And he was like, yeah, no Spanish. So that's impressive. And again, I told you guys at the beginning of the video, I went to uh, Spanish school in Mexico to learn Spanish. I did not like it. I, I didn't last like a couple weeks. You know, I only went because I paid for the month. So I, I went to get my money's worth, but I hated it. I just spent an hour and a half with Enrique and actually really enjoyed it. Um, we had, so there's different types, like you can say, how do you want to learn? Do you want to learn grammar? Do you want to just have a conversation and this and that? So I told him I want to just have a conversation. So we talked about my past, about everything, asked me questions and I, he let me speak. And as I was speaking, he was taking notes. And after I was done with my, what I was telling him, he said, look, this is what you said. You said it this way, it should be that way. You said it this way. And, it, and the way he, he told me and the way he explained it to me made it make sense. So I really appreciate that. Mm, what's the other thing I asked you? Uh, so he recommended, so I asked him, I said, what, what's the recommendation? Should someone come and take that one month intense course? And he said, um, in reality, people come here on vacation. They don't, they don't have time to spend, you know, four hours a day, five days a week in a class. But if you do, that's a great way to do it. If you can spend the month to learn, yes. but then afterwards join the other class, the other option, which is real world, real world. Yes where you can come unlimited time and spend uh, either the option of two hours uh, a day or all day, depending on which one you choose. He recommends that, so start with the month intensity and then, then go to real time and then you're gonna become pretty fluent. Yeah, that's the main one. Because at the first time you will be focused with one teacher uh -huh. and as you will get used to it to the way he speak, when you take real work and you try different teachers, you will improve your listening and your speaking too. Oh my God, that's amazing. And, and how long, okay, so for example, somebody comes here and they want to stay six months in, in Colombia. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's quite common. A lot of people come and spend the six months Yeah, the again. time that you can be here without. So you say, so what, what would you say, somebody comes here six months, they spend the first month intense class. Yes. And then afterwards they go to the real world. At how long do you think until they're speaking pretty advanced? It's really hard to tell because it depends on the student and the time they invest studying and taking classes and uh -huh. even speaking on the street because you might come here you take two hours of class and one after leave the school you speak English all day because uh -huh. you're with your friends mm -hmm. but if you do you really practice and you really try to talk with native speakers that will boost your improvement so it depends but I will say three months will be far enough excellent and that what he said is totally true because the way I learned Spanish when I went to, I went with the uh, with the goal to learn Spanish not to speak English with people or, or hang out with foreigners, whatever it is, when I went to Mexico. So here, this option that they provide is awesome because you can take two hours of classes and then if you want, you can hang out here, play ping pong, drink coffee all day, talk to people in Spanish, just like chit chat, right? If you don't have a class, I can hang out with you and just play ping pong and talk in Spanish. Yeah, of course. And that's not, I'm available. There's but that's no not problem. part of the class. You want to be correcting me and stuff. That's not, you're not, you're off. Yeah. You're off. But at the same time, the way I learned Spanish was I was hanging out with my, my friends in Mexico who spoke only Spanish and constantly practicing, constantly practicing and talking. What I didn't have was a professor correcting my, what I was making my mistakes. So what happened was I, I, I created bad habits over those years that has stuck. And as you guys know, if you have a bad habit that sticks over years, it's hard to change. If, for you guys who don't speak Spanish at all, come here and start here and be able to have a great professor that can actually teach you well and then I also had the opportunity to hang out with people and just hang out and, and practice your Spanish, which is all here. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's amazing. I, you know what guys, I give it two thumbs up. David, two thumbs up, 100% recommend it. Uh, I'll probably make a couple more videos about this place. I'm not sure, we'll see. Comment below if you guys want me to do that. Otherwise, uh, hopefully in the future, I'll meet with the owners yeah. and maybe I can work out a deal for you guys, get y'all maybe a discount or something to, to give you guys more advantage, advantage to come. So anyways, I'm probably gonna get another coffee before I head out, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comments if you guys like this video. And otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. All right guys, so let me tell y'all. Let me fin finalize this, uh, this video. 100% recommended. I tell y'all, if I would have had, 
if I would have had this option when I was learning Spanish in Mexico, my Spanish would be a whole lot better. I speak fluent. I'm uh, not fluent, but I'm, I'm, I'm at level seven, which is very advanced in there with their, what they think, their levels, right? But I think if I would have had this from the very beginning, my Spanish would have been more native. So I'd say 100% recommended. I have never, I haven't checked out the other schools. I haven't checked out the other prices and all that stuff. So I really can't, I can't tell you if it's the more expensive, less expensive, whatever. But what they offer, one-on-one -on -one instruction with the professor. Unlimited time you can spend in the house. I actually just got done playing ping pong with uh, Enrique. So I was playing ping pong, we were talking in Spanish and joking around. So not only do you get Spanish classes and lessons, <laughs> individual lessons from a professor, uh, you get to play around over there, like play ping pong, hang out with people, drink coffee, and practice what you learn. That's what most schools and classes are missing. People go to a class, they come here to Columbia, they go to a class for an hour, they learn, and then they leave class, they have nobody to practice with. Like, yeah, you're living in Colombia, but unless you have friends, or you're living with other, with Colombians who speak Spanish, who are you gonna practice with? You can maybe go to the coffee shop, sit down and try to start a conversation with somebody, and hopefully they talk to you. Versus here, what they did was, they have a spot to hang out where you can talk to people. The, the, the two guys I pointed before in the beginning of the video saying that they were professors who don't speak English, I was wrong. They're not professors, they're actually there to make coffee, and also to hang out with you and they don't speak any English. So what happens is you're forced to take what you learn and speak with them. That's what their, their job is just basically hang out with you. That's super cool. So like I said, if I would have had this option when I was learning Spanish, my Spanish would be way high, way higher. Okay. It, what I did was to learn Spanish was I, I did what they're offering. I hung out with friends. I spent time, I had my girlfriend, da, da, da. But I didn't have the, the, the um, what's it called? Not the professional, but the formal classes. I didn't have the formal classes that teach me the right grammar and all that kind of stuff. This has the formal classes and they could teach you in any way that you want to be taught. You just conversations, you want to have a conversation with somebody, you want to go deep into grammar, you want to have lessons. They have all types of ways to teach you. And at the same time, they have the way that you can just hang out with friends and practice your Spanish you learn in the classes. And then they offer the option to come unlimited from like when they open to close to take classes all day long if you want to. I spent two hours doing classes, my brain is, was tired. But there's some people who want to learn Spanish fast, fast track. You can do that, that one month intense uh, course and then go to the other one that's uh, less intense. I can see that somebody can learn Spanish very well there. I can see it. So if you guys are coming to Colombia or no, not even that. If you want to learn Spanish, I recommend this place. If you can't make it to Columbia, they have the online option. That's unlimited classes online. That's the next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take a couple of classes online and see how it is uh, from my house. They do it by Zoom, I think. I'm going to do a few classes online and see how it is. But uh, you can be anywhere in the world and take unlimited classes online. That's freaking awesome. If you want to come to the country and learn it there, like in the country, I suggest Colombia and I suggest Antioquia and I suggest Medellin. Antioquia is the uh, department, Medellin is the capital because the Spanish spoken here in, in this part of Colombia and uh, is one of the most clear Spanishes, one of the most, the Spanishes that are, uh, that's um, easiest to understand. You go to other countries, for example, go to, I don't know, um, Argentina. In Argentina, their Spanish, even I sometimes don't understand it because the way they speak, their accents and how they, they talk. Here in Colombia, especially in this part of Colombia, they speak very clear, very level, and it's a very good way to learn Spanish, right? And so I would say, come to this, come to Colombia, come to this part of Colombia, come to Medellin, and I would say sign up to this school. All right. So by the time this video comes out, I've already, I would have already talked to the, the owners, and there most likely will be a link below where you can go through my link, through the link right here, and uh, sign up with them. And hopefully, I was able to talk to, uh, do a discount, like negotiate a discount for you guys. I'm not sure. We'll see. So, anyways, we'll see what happens in the future. I'm going to do a, another video and probably put it all together. I'm not sure, but you guys stay tuned for that. Yeah. See y'all later.